trying to bring it to Ohio. Meet Dirk Harkins, an Adena veteran who served a total of six years in the 82nd Airborne Division of the U.S. Army. On May 20th, 2007, uh, my Humvee was hit uh, for like the fourth time with uh, IEDs and I had some traumatic brain injuries. And that moment affected Dirk not only mentally, but emotionally, especially when he returned home. I was depressed, you know, and anxious at the same time, you know, different times. Uh, I just felt, had a hard time feeling like I was fitting back in. Dirk suffered from daily migraine headaches that at times were so severe he couldn't even get out of bed. A little over five months ago, he reached rock bottom. Um, Dirk gave me a call, I think it was about 0730 in the morning, and he said, that's it, I, I'm done. He's ready to check out. Um, Dirk was on a, on, a, on a, he was on a ledge, he was getting ready to commit suicide. State Senator and former Navy SEAL Frank Hoagland knew he had to find a way to help his friend and fellow veteran. And it's everything to me. I mean, the military, the veterans. After talking with other retired Navy SEALs, he learned about TMS, or transcranial magnetic stimulation therapy, a non-invasive treatment that uses magnetic fields to stimulate nerve cells in the brain. It is used to treat a variety of disorders, such as depression, anxiety, PTSD, and addiction. It's basically like hitting the control alt delete button. TMS therapy is only offered at a treatment center in Texas. Shannon Malish is the founder and CEO of Windmill Wellness Ranch. That form of therapy coupled with what we do um, with the therapist has been the missing ingredient in, in substance use in mental health treatment. Malish says the treatment should last the rest of the person's life. However, if they suffer from a head injury or dementia, they would need to return for further therapy. Shannon gave us the numbers and she had a 100% success rate for veterans, but she had a 85% success rate for opiate users. Senator Hoagland worked with the Adena American Legion to raise $15,000 in one month to send Dirk to Texas. We raised the money we needed to help Dirk out and he's a changed person today. And that's my fourth treatment I started. I woke up one morning and realized that something was a little bit different. It was way different. He noticed improvements in his mental focus. It was like a fog had been lifted and suddenly he felt a sense of hope. Well, my quality of life before was uh, I really didn't want to live. And uh, now it's 10. After seeing Dirk's attitude drastically change, Senator Hoagland began working to establish a TMS pilot program in Ohio. He has since introduced legislation that would allocate the funding for this therapy to veterans organizations to help struggling veterans and eventually get them back to work. So we got $6 million in the budget that's focused on fixing the veterans. The legislation is being vetted by the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services and the Department of Veterans Services. Senator Hoagland says the governor supports it. It was Governor Mike DeWine and his staff, and here's a couple of fellas, it's very important, that constantly come to the office to make sure that we're tracking on this particular budget item in the budget. The pilot program would operate for three years and focus on assisting veterans with substance use disorders as well as mental illness. Senator Hoagland will keep fighting in the state legislature with the hope of bringing struggling Ohio veterans back to life like Dirk. <clears throat> and to think I had to get all the way to Texas to get it, you know, it's kind of a, a shame, you know, that we don't have it here. Because Ohio needs it bad. They need it real bad. Uh, we're just losing too many veterans and too many police and first responders. A life saved is worth every penny of it, uh, and then some. Dirk is now pursuing a social work degree at Eastern Gateway Community College. And as for the pilot program, two state departments are overseeing the project and requesting bids. Senator Hoagland hopes it will be coming to Ohio very soon. Reporting on a News 9 special assignment, I'm Brittany Grego.